Hi there, signs of Gemini. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. Hope you're doing really good out there. Thanks for joining me. I'm pulling from the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. Yeah, Astrology. Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. And um, just to kind of give us a starting point, I think, for uh, your Celtic cross. Oh, give us some good messages. <laughs> Spirit guides, angels. Give us some messages for Gemini. And some messages for Geminis. And if you need something more personal, I do offer private readings. Hmm. Okay. Aquarius and Mercury. Aquarius and Mercury. Aquarius uh, says originality, philanthropy, and progressive imaginings. Um, Mercury, think, learn, network, and communicate. So there really might be that, that uh, philanthropy and this networking. Mercury, definitely, the communication, opening up communication. And it may be something about help, you know, helping, helping the greater good with some kind of um, something that you're learning, something about communication, maybe to make communication easier. <clears throat> that would be nice. More access to technology or Wi-Fi or something like that. All right. The Naked Heart Tarot. Give us messages for Gemini. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. So something um, that you're putting a lot of discipline into. Oh, but they're sneaking us around. Hmm. But there's sneakiness around. We're going to find out what it's about. Not letting it mess up anything. Not letting it mess up anything. Transformation and change. Mm -hmm. on news. Oh, you're waiting on someone to change. <clears throat> You're waiting on someone to change, okay, or a situation to change, aren't we all, right? But no, this is quite literally like you're waiting on some kind of news to let, well, it will let you know, um, hey, it's kind of like safe to move past um, something that didn't work out in the past. There, I mean, there may just be something that's really still affecting this, which is letting go of disappointments and regrets. Um, two of Wands is the past energy. It's in the reverse. So, <clears throat> I think that there was probably an outlook like, okay, well, my option is, is this or this. And I, I don't think there was much room given for options or different paths or pers uh, possibilities. I feel like it was just kind of, and maybe, maybe it was a lack of focus in that sense. Um, <clears throat> Mystical medleys. Tell me more about this uh, issue with focus here, two of wands. And it also, you know, and it's best, it could be talking about getting along with another person and aligning your interests, your passions, your hobbies, um, passion project. And there's the chariot. That d indicates movement or travel, right? So maybe it was choices or something like that regarding a trip. Tell me more about the chariot. 
That's a lot. I'm going to take that one. <clears throat> Letting go of attachments to how something has to play out. I'm going to read these, but we're not going to put them all down. Um, letting go of, of like having to have it a certain way. It's kind of like breaking, it's breaking down walls, um, barriers possibly. The eight of cups is there's some kind of, um, emotional disconnect, um, with the, even a, it could be actual physical place that it was an emotional disconnect. The, um, the devil in reverse is indicating, you know, past, um, kind of like toxic addictions or vices, but it's beating those. It's in the reverse. So <clears throat> somebody might have had to leave because of these things or because of some kind of influence. There is the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles. So you have this um, little, you have this turn of luck for you with the Wheel of Fortune. And then the Knight of Pentacles is saying, yeah, with the chariot, yeah, just don't be attached to how you get there. But know that you do get there when you're leaving to find your ninth cup. Just make sure those things that have sabotaged us, uh, sabotaged us in the past or caused us problems, addictions, vices. Yeah, to, to move forward here um, because something good is coming about. Okay, these have been such hard readings for everybody, not just, which, which your, your readings actually showing up pretty good at the heart of the matter. You know, you know about the practical side of what the heart of the matter means with the 10 of pentacles. It's about helping you. It's about helping other people in the family and, and it is about growing wealth and it can be about wealth within a family. <clears throat> The Seven of Swords, though, is, is saying that something or someone's being kind of sneaky here. The Seven of Swords. The Six of Swords energy, to clarify it, means really not wanting to be in a situation where you would have to use a tactic of lying, cheating, or stealing, right? I think that that's what it's saying is like, no, and, and wanting to trust yourself whenever you're trying to discern if that energy is around you. Yeah. Because that, that seven of swords can be a really sneaky like energy, but the six of swords is like, no, 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 not like last time. It's, it's telling you that it's telling you not to do something that would be, um, that would mess up something this at the heart of the matter is like you have all of this wealth all these connections and all this also i see um more possibilities potential with the ten of pentacles lots of connections so the knight of pentacles is the challenge getting things to move along there you go. Got to take care of yourself. Got to put some self-love into it with the Queen of Cups. You have to take care of yourself before you can really, uh, you know, expect to see things reflected in your outside world. So it's your ability to love yourself here with the Queen of Cups. Um, being open to receiving too emotionally. And then it's like taking good care of yourself is going to bring in that energy <clears throat> that the Knight of Pentacles needs to get moving in the right direction. Processing our emotions and really understanding where they come from, why we feel the way that we feel. Yeah, and like I said, understanding where that come where that comes from. <clears throat> Tell me about and that could be for fears too. So for the five of cups in the reverse, this is a letting go. It, you could say it's a processing of um Letting go of the past so that one door closes and another door opens with the world. Three cups in the reverse. So this is kind of like saying, okay, there's a new chapter and it involves really paying attention to any kind of influence that that is, you know, influencing you like to um, overdo it or to over party, drink too much, take too many, I mean, something to overdo it. Like you have to get past that past or leave those um type of so-called friends behind maybe 
because it might be an influence with that Seven of Swords more than anything. <clears throat> this can indicate like a friend really letting you down and disappointing you too. Could have made you really mad. Was, we do have the uh, King of Cups in the reverse for how you're feeling. So you're feeling like, hey, a lot is um, on the line. A lot is at stake. Um, yeah, and some kind of sneakiness or deception. It could have really pissed you off. So let's see about the King of Cups in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. But everything is like... If you put your head into your work and you look at how far you've come with whatever craft it is that you do or skill or trade, um, it's, it seems like you're getting better at it. And the Eight of Pentacles is like, you you should be feeling that energy of all is going to work out, all will be fine. In fact, focusing on your health and your exercise will help you with balancing the mood <clears throat> so that you can either work more or... Or handle workload easier. So what's the news about then, right? What's the news about? We have the Page of Wands in the reverse. Meaning, it might be taking a, a situation very seriously while you're waiting on some news. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody within your commitment or with the family, within the family commitment, kind of messed up with the money or something like that. <laughs> Waiting on news for like a money situation to be rectified or made right. And I think that you're the one that's constantly um, here in, under transformation with the death card in reverse. So you're waiting on news. It could be about regarding um, a, a loan, a business loan. It's something that can turn things around. Make sure you're good with that influence, with um, being careful with who you're around and your influence. Make sure you're safe. Death in reverse for future. <clears throat> the seven of pentacles. Look at all the work and the effort that you're putting into this. Into this big change or transformation. Like sometimes when we're waiting on news for the business to do better. We're, we're really just putting our head into the work. And we're not trying not to think about the outcome as much as you're trying to think about Look, this is all this sweat and hard work that I'm putting into this transformation. You should be like really proud of yourself when you get this, especially that combination. You're really the only sign here, Gemini, that has had um, anything positive to say about Pentacles lately. And even you are going through something where you're having, where something's going to have to be fixed or turned around, right? So the movement of cups is in the reverse. It's what we, I feel like it's a fear. Um, but it, you know what? It can be a hope. Sometimes, sometimes we need time. Sometimes you need time. And so things uh, don't move forward. Mm, if that's a good or a bad thing, I guess it's according to what's going on. It might have to do with this communication that is kind of a misunderstanding or something that is holding the movement of cups up or the knight of cups up. You could really be hoping that an offer is genuine or that a person is sincere with their apology to you. Because as of right now, you're, um, you've got the movement of swords or knight of swords in reverse with the four of cups in reverse for the outcome. Meaning that if this doesn't change, you will get brave, bold, and do what you got to do for yourself um and that if that's a new start because of uh, not being happy anymore with things not changing then that's what that is um it, it, it's also about the kind of being brave and bold and taking a chance maybe in your career too queen of wands might be associated with an aries <clears throat> gemini we have your energy again and we have cancer's energy and Aries with that outcome. 
tower. What is that tower wanting to just come out? And then death, change, and transformation. Wow, Scorpio. There's a Scorpio. There's a Scorpio. I think it, it's even... Maybe you're feeling a Scorpio? I don't know. You're feeling like there's a lot at stake. Whatever is changing abruptly, it's, it's clarified. Look at that. It's clarified by the tower. There is good relationships, but there's some kind of like, um, hey, the, you, you know, you deserve some more recognition here for all that you do. This might be a good tower because with success and effort, you know, you can build. And there's major change and transformation going on regarding something here. <laughs> with communication, I feel like there could be a misunderstanding. So definitely know you're waiting on news. Let's get a different deck just to get some advice uh, from your angels here. Advice on the Seven of Swords. And the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Because <clears throat> it really feels like a, a person. And maybe it's uh, like an ex-friend that disappointed you. It's something like that. Something that affected the finances. Seven of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. There's a lot relying on... Um, this change and transformation, if you put in the work, you put in the effort, you're going to get out what you're wanting. Are you going to get all the recognition for all that you're doing? I don't really know. But I do know that the monetary reward looks like it's going to be there for, for some kind of change and transformation. I also see this as being maybe a new, new partnership. That is working kind of well. So Claire, tell us about um, advice here. This is probably saying focus on the whole, the big picture, the wealth, the good of the whole family. Tell me about King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. There's so many that left. <clears throat> When something got hard, they just left and emotionally disconnected. And in that sense, um, kind of let the family down on some kind of commitment uh, to them or to someone. It's, it's something about escapism. Um, <laughs> and maybe wanting to like escape a commitment or some kind of commitment. And that is in the environment. So I'm not saying that that's your energy. But it's in the environment. So, whoo, I was about to say, how do we get movement? But it's all about communication. I feel like that Eight of Wands is saying Mercury's here. Also, for a reason, like to open up your lines of communication. Because there, there could be something, you know, regarding this partnership that... That could be cleared up. I don't know. Or clarified. Uh, for some reason I'm feeling like this three of cups. In the reverse is. Um, a new star. Or new. Like to a friendship. That could be saved. Um, if you want it. Because of the five of cups being in the reverse. It's really being optimistic. And focusing on what you do have. The eight of wands will get you there. It will speed things up. I would expect to see especially after some communication, that things start speeding up. <clears throat> I think don't be afraid to take a risk is another um, message with that Queen of Wands, too. Well, we went really long on this reading here, Gemini. I didn't really mean to, but let's get your Oracle card. Oh, we've already gotten that one. Let's get the Soul's Evolution Oracle. Also, a good health and diet influence, too, is coming to mind. There's a lot of investment going on here. And possibly indecision. So it says use your intuition. Indecision, I use intuition in all aspects of life. Uh, purpose, I know what I'm here to do. And it's about the collective here, right? And, and like the wealth of 
everybody that's under this umbrella here with you. Um, and success. I know there's no greater goal than love. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness and freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's what I've got for Gemini's. So if you want a private reading, contact me um, through that email that's in the description box. And I'll give you more information and sending you love and light as always. Bye-bye.